Hello, thank you for joining my pressed flower card making workshop today as part of Seven Drugs online festival this summer. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how I make uh, cards with pressed flowers, both wildflowers and flowers that you might find at home in your garden as well. And this can be done by anybody of any age, children, adults alike. Uh, and it's a great activity to just relax uh, and do something creative and mindful. My name's Sarah Harper and I run Happy by Harper, which is a business focusing on creativity for better mental health. So here are a few examples of some cards um, that I've made before, uh, just to give you some ideas of, of what you might like to make today during the workshop. All sorts of different ones. Um, and what you'll need for this workshop is some card of any kind uh, and some pressed flowers. So the way that you press flowers is to, to pick some. Um, they need to be fairly thin. If they're too thick, then they won't press very well and they'll go kind of a bit mouldy before they dry. Um, and what you do is you, you pick the flower and you put it on a piece of kitchen roll like this. Here are some that I did earlier. Um, put another piece of kitchen roll on top put cardboard over the top of that and then just put some weights on top so it could be some cooking books, some uh, tins of beans, any kind of heavy things that you've got lying around the house um, and leave them for about two weeks, two to three weeks depending on what flower it is that you've picked and then um, hopefully you'll be left with some dried flat flowers at the end of that process. So I'll show you now um, some cards that I'll be making during this workshop. Uh, please uh, feel free to follow along um, and make cards in any design that you like. So here are some flowers that I picked and, and pressed between, just as I said, some kitchen roll and cardboard. You'll see that all these flowers are quite thin ones, so they press really nicely. Um, and you can also do it with pieces of uh, kind of grass, like this one does nicely, and lavender as well, and that will actually make your card smell of lavender which is lovely so you just need some any sort of card and some glue any kind of glue that dries clear and what I suggest doing is placing the flowers that you want to use on your card before you start sticking them down so you can work out how exactly you want things to look and if you do that before you start um, sticking down then you can always change your mind as you go along. I quite like this style um, of just the flowers along in a row. And I'll just need some scissors to just snip off those ends there. So I've cut those ends of the stems off and I'm just sticking these flowers down now. It's better to stick the glue onto the flower or grass rather than sticking the paper or card so that you know exactly where the glue needs to go. And as I say, it's best to have clear drying glue. And that just means that you can see here, I've got quite a few little white bits of glue, but if it's clear drying, then those will all disappear. And for this one, I think I'm going to make it almost like a little bouquet of flowers. I've got this beautiful sea lavender here and cow parsley and then a large oxide daisy as well. So I'm just going to stick those down and that's it. So here are my cards now, uh, finished and dried. I hope you've made some lovely ones for yourself and have enjoyed the process. If you're interested in buying um, one of my card making kits, I sell these on Etsy and you'll get all the materials you need in order to make cards like this, including the card and some of my own um, freshly picked and dried flowers. So please have a visit to my Etsy shop and my Instagram page as well. And I also have ready-made, completed um, cards ready to buy, which are perfect for gifts for loved ones or also to frame and put on your wall for, for really special ones. Thanks very much. Bye.